hello friends welcome to this video in this video we'll see how to download jdk jre and uh, intellij id so let's get into google type in oracle and you should uh, get this link oracle software download click on that so after this let's just scroll down and uh, you should be seeing a section called java yeah this is the one so click on that so this will navigate you to the java section wherein you will have the jdk link and the jre download link so i'll click on the jdk download link first so this is required for the development purpose so click on this uh, it will open a, in a new tab so i will go to that tab and uh, i'll download the J oracle jdk so this is the latest uh, oracle jdk available as of the recording so this jdk 13 is the latest available uh, edition now so i will just click on the download link so my download has started but uh, before that i need to accept the license so i will accept the license and uh, i'm downloading it for windows platform so i will download the windows exe you can also download the windows zip file if you want to and uh, in below is the zip file yeah this is the zip file if you want to download this you can download this now my installation has been completed so i will uh, uh, run this installer in the admin mode so i will go to the downloads folder and i will run this as admin so click on yes and uh, my installer should start yeah so leave the defaults and yeah my installer has started uh, the download so while the installation is happening uh, let me tell you about jdk so this is for uh, development for the developers so, so this is used for uh, converting your uh, java code into the byte code that is the dot class files and uh, this jdk will be different for different uh, operating systems like for windows we had one jdk for uh, Mac we have one JDK and for Linux we have one JDK so you if you are using a different platform other than Windows you have to download the respective platform uh, JDK so mine was Windows uh, platform Windows 10 I'm using Windows 10 so I downloaded the Windows version of JDK so JDK is basically used to convert your Java file into the Java code into the byte code so yeah so my installation now is completed so i'll close the window now we'll download the jre so again go to the same section same java section yeah here's my jre link click on this now this will navigate you to the download page of jre so as of current uh, the latest version is version 8 update 231 so this is the latest jre version available so i will click on the java download the button and I will agree and I will start the download so my download has been completed I will open the folder and run the exe file in the admin mode click on yes and this is the pop-up which I got so leave the defaults and click on the install now my installation has started this is the JRE installation so this is going to take some while so i was uh, talking about the jdk well uh, the jdk is used for uh, the developers whereas this jre it consumes your uh, java code the code which is uh, compiled to the byte code is then converted into the machine executable machine code by the jre so your program runs through the jre so that is the difference between JDK and JRE. JRE is used to execute your Java programs whereas uh, JDK is used to compile your Java code into bytecode. So my, my, so my installation has been completed. I will close the window and uh, just go to the search and type in command prompt. Now I'm going to show you how to check whether the JRE is successfully installed. So type in Java and hit enter so you should see something like this so this ensures that uh, your jre has been successfully installed to check the version of the jre which you have installed you need to uh, type the command java space hyphen version so this is the command you need to type and press enter 
and uh, you should see the version of the java installed so mine is 1.8 mine is jre8 and 231 is the update which i downloaded from the website so here it is yeah i'll just scroll up and yeah you can see here is the version and the update so this, it's showing the same version update so this uh, is telling me that i have successfully downloaded my gre now i will download the id so type in jetbrains java ide so now this should uh, land me to the intellij id link so click on the first link in which uh, the download uh, link is there so click on the download link and i'm going to download the community edition because it's uh, free and open source so download this community edition and my installation should uh, be started yeah it's started okay now it's completed so i will run this uh, installer in the admin mode now click on yes click on next leave the defaults click on next here i'm going to associate my java files with this id so i'll click this i'll tick mark this box and also i will create a desktop uh, shortcut i'll create a 64 bit launcher if you want the other check marks to be ticked tick it so click on next and install so my installation is uh, carrying on so while my installation is carrying on i want you to uh, show how you will ensure that uh, jdk is properly installed on your machine or not now to do that we need to use a command called java c so i will uh, quickly open the command prompt and i will type the java c command so that uh, to check whether the jdk is successfully installed in our machine so here's my command prompt i will type in java c hit enter so i see that uh, the java c is it's telling that java c is not recognized this is because i need to add it to the system environment variable the path of the java c exe file so i need to add it to the system environment variables for that i need to I will go into the search type in env so i will go here and i will type env and you should get this yeah edit the system in one variable Let's click on that and uh, you should get uh, a pop-up okay while it's coming uh, let's go to the program files uh, java jdk so this is my bin and this is my uh, default uh, java home the jdk installation directory so i need to copy this because in this directory i have the java c.exe present so here is the java c.exe so i have to copy this uh, path and paste it in the uh, path variable of the system environment variables so go to the environment variables go to the path click on uh, the edit one if you are already having the path variable if you're not having the path variable just click on new and create one path variable and uh, in here click on new and uh, create the path to your uh, bin folder uh, then click on ok and save your settings and uh, i will open a new command prompt and i will type in the java c command again so here's my here command prompt i will type the java c command and you should see something like this now this ensures that your jdk has been successfully installed now to check the version type java c space hyphen version sorry uh, it's a hyphen version so java c hyphen version press enter and uh, yeah it's showing the my installed java jdk is 13 so yeah it's correct so i have installed jdk 13 so it's showing me that i have installed java jdk 13 and this ensures that uh, jdk is installed now my setup has been completed for the id i will run the id and i will finish the installation click on uh, confirm then continue okay and uh, it should launch your uh, id i will keep the defaults 
now I'm I don't have new project so I will create a new project and uh, this is the project SDK location so it's uh, showing the project SDK location it has already by default picked it up if you don't have this uh, pointing to the right location click on new tab and point it to the right Java home directory or your default JDK download the JDK installation directory okay I have mine correct so I will just uh, skip this and proceed forward okay click on next and uh, here you have to give your project name I will give mine sample click on finish and you should uh, be ready to go with your project maximize this and yeah in the left pane in the left side you have project pane click on that and uh, you have the sample project created for you expand this and in this you have the uh, src folder created in this folder we are going to create all our uh, java files so right click this and create a java file I will give a small demo on the hello program so right click this click on new java class and I will name uh, my class as my class name so one thing to notice is your class name and your file name should be one and the same so that's a rule in Java then uh, I'm going to type in the public static void uh, command so basically it's used to create your main method in java so i will just type in that command so public static void main string uh, arguments so this is a string array and args so this is the default method signature for uh, creating your main method in this i'll type uh, system dot out dot println basically here i'm uh, output here i'm providing my output hello to the console output console so that's it this is our simple hello program so but I need to add a configuration so I have clicked the add configuration button and here I need to click on this uh, plus button and uh, select the application type so basically here we are providing uh, our GRE environment to execute our application I'll give in my class name uh, so my class was my class name I'll type in the same okay this is done and you can also provide additional VM or program arguments over here I will leave it uh, as is for now and uh, here you can see this is the GRE which is default uh, selected so I'll click on OK and then I'll run my program by hitting this button and yeah this is the output hello which you can see on the console so this is our first uh, hello program and it has created this out directory and uh, in this we have our dot class file containing the byte code so that's all for this video guys uh, thanks for watching